bump straight. Shout out to my doctor. Oh, and guess what? You got, she got her braces taken out today. Oh, yeah. That's a brand new motherfucker. Look at good. How? Yeah, I wanna see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you just know that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you owe that. You say you're curious, you say you're curious, so I'm just coming. Girl, just let me know why I'm scared. Welcome back to another vlog. I am going to be prepping my friend Jay slash baby doll for the Hip Hop BET Awards. I think it's the Hip Hop BET Awards or the BET Awards. Either one, whichever one is in Atlanta is the one that we're prepping for. So yesterday we went to go find her dress, very last minute. We went to go find her dress, found this really cute dress. And I think we're going to, this is a wig that she had originally came down here. <laughs> and, and baby, <laughs> when I say the lace was like, I was like, girl, what made you cut this lace like this? So I basically just kind of like revamped the lace. I did some plucking. I pulled out how the baby hairs are going to be. And I, I had to recut the lace and all that stuff. So it's a closure. It's a five and a half closure. We're going to do an updo. A, like a, a updo for the for um with the closure anyway so yeah so we have her dress we have her shoes we have her earrings we're gonna have her hair she's out right now getting her covid test so when she comes back we're just gonna jump straight to getting her ready and i'm also gonna do her makeup so i have like makeup set up you know the hair station set up so i have her her dress and stuff over there so yeah this is exciting. So she's kind of running behind right now. So I'm about to just get on my computer and kind of organize how I want the rest of my weekend to look because the first is coming up and we gotta be prepared. Okay, so I'm watching Mysterious Murders right now. So excuse all the noise in the background. But she just got back and I'm about to just take this elastic band that I had sewed on the back of that brown wig that I installed on her and just and sew it on this closure wig because she has a really really shortcut so it's gonna be hard for me to I can't necessarily sew the back group since we're doing an updo I can't sew the back of this wig onto her head because her hair is really really short she has a shortcut so what I'm gonna do is take this elastic band put it on the wig and sew the wig to the elastic band so that way it stays tight on the back of her neck while her hair is up hmm. you didn't know that's how you do that I ran out of creamer, so I'm literally just going to drink my coffee black with a little bit of sugar, which actually tastes really good. I've been doing that for the past couple of days, and it tastes so good. I'm going to be using some organic cane sugar, or you can use brown sugar, but I'm just going to use this. Okay, we just finished our hair makeup. Now I'm about to lock in on my computer, eat. My people find me. And then we'll show you the final results when she's all dolled up and free guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a little sneak peek. Luckily we had time. So we did a whole switch up with the hair. We literally just took the whole wig off and put on the whole new one. And it's giving, it's giving very much classy. It's giving very much grown, it's giving very much sexy. Mm. I can't see because of the light. You have to keep on that side. Yeah, it's too dark. And the body is giving. Ah! Can't see. Can't 
Yeah, it's going on. Yeah, this is it. Why are you such a vibe? It's giving a vibe. This is how you vibe, bitch. I'm so proud. Proud, mom. You always proud, mom. And she talking about some crowd surf. No, what she say? What you say? What? Crowd pimp. Parking lot pimp. <laughs> Girl, you get up. Why would you say that? Uh, I could go to the damn award. She want me to park a lot pimp. Bad say you park a lot pimp. Bad say you park a lot pimp. You don't know who's going to be the award. You're going to run to. Never know. I'm trying to think. Hey, like, girl, I like your hair. Who did it? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> right here. She can fix your shit right now. I'm just like, you never know. <laughs> This is cute, it's real classy. Mm -hmm. Aww. I'm so proud. Not that it's too much like she's doing her Nancy, she, she a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm used to let her kiss me. Uh -uh. Get your nasty ass back. Over there making coochie. Now I'm a homosexual. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That's okay. That time she was robbed at gunpoint. Mama still it's loves. almost like oh, she's you're daring sure. someone oh. to come and steal from her again. Honey, about to park a lot. Pimp out this bitch. I'm parking out. Pimp it on these hoes. So I ended up not doing the parking lot pimping, but we did get her there successfully. Anyways, <laughs> now I'm coughing now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you couldn't. I gotta just define this. I got, I, I do got hot sauce. Sriracha. <laughs> I got sriracha. And I like hot sauce. I don't know why. I don't drink, I got ginger beer. I like you are a good a good, good Samaritan? No, influence. Good influence. Positive influence. Positive influence on my life. I need to wake up your clothes. I need to clean up. <laughs> you are a positive influence on my life. Aww. You may want to talk better to people. A little bit. Aww. Sometimes. I think it's a balance because I feel like I need to be a little more mm -hmm. bitchy. Mm-hmm. You talk to people and you talk to me. They can piss me off. Hello. How are you? How was your day? Nothing. You know like, what you ain't playing? She said, I don't know. Don't be nice to your motherfucking ass. Don't do her. She really tried to play me. <laughs> Your friend was like, I'm gonna be nice because we in your car. Right. So. Please. You crazy as hell, though. Am I? I believe it. But why you say that? <laughs> I believe it. But why you say that shit? But trauma, baby, crazy, goddamn it. Life itself, fucking this earth, is disgusting. It'll make you crazy. makeup I haven't been like liking how I do my brows lately I just haven't been liking them I've been effing up like even yesterday y'all saw me yesterday I did not like my makeup it was giving like smoky it was giving smoky ashy it was giving confused it was like some areas was giving dewy some areas is giving ashy some areas was giving dark some areas was giving neutral some areas was giving too light like I didn't know what the Effery was going on there, but yeah. I'm thinking I might as well just go ahead and do that Q 
Q&A. I asked you guys to send me like questions twice already and I screenshotted it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and find those questions. So while I do my makeup, we can, I can answer you guys' questions. Okay, wait, let me do my brows first and then we're gonna get into her question. Come on, eyebrows. You like them? I was just you complaining You did them perfect them. today. Yay. Yeah, they perfect, they might be twinning them. Oh, we like that. We was just talking about the brows. Not really feeling them lately, but she got your girl feeling all hype and stuff about her brows. Hold on now. I must have did a good goddamn motherfucking job today. Hmm. What they giving? They giving twin of them. <laughs> they giving twin of them. Aw, shit now. Okay, back to sister girl over here. Back to our kindred. Okay. Is Atlanta your forever home? I would never say anywhere is my forever home because I just, you never know where life takes you. Mm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not closing any doors. Okay? I'm not closing any doors. Shoot. Thoughts on making new friends? Huh? I'm definitely open to meeting new people building new connections like i'm a people's person i love people i love making people feel good i love connecting people so like if i meet somebody that i feel like is a good fit for one of my other friends i like to connect them like i like for I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm, I love networking, meeting new people. I am in a space right now where I crave like that sisterly like bond with someone. Like a lot of friendships are kind of just like built based off of like surface level things i.e like just having fun or going out you know that's always cool to have those friends that you can like go out with hang out with have a good time with stuff like that but i do crave like a more deeper connection i want that female best friend you know someone you can just like grow with and like experience life with you know like a real best friend like the definition of what a true sis is she don't just come for your tea she stick around to help you with them dishes i'm not talking gossip and shit i'm talking about the type of women stick around to help you process your shit she be peeping them snakes never bring me no beef or no hate and when i'm lost in my fear my sis get me back Deep in my faith, I look up and here come my rock with a rock to remind you them beasts out enslaved. We never let time get in the way. We know we both got lives, but we both are hop a boat for our ship when it comes down to the wire. Fight fire and hell, I like the higher in self, and I never go thirsty because my sisters got wells. And we water each other. Sometimes with daughter and mother, when that nurture is needed. Sometimes with windows and mirrors for reflection and reason. Regal when reaching our dreams. We'll take one for the team when the going gets tough. And you'll get your ass checked on your mess, but it's all wrapped up in love. Sisterhood sold up, then showed up so many times it's insurmountable, holding me down and accountable. That's why even if I disagree with her, you never catch it on social media. I'm gonna say that shit again because even if I disagree with her, you never catch it on social media. Face to face, I'm gonna go and meet with her. We don't do messy. We grown, grown. We don't send no texts when we vex. We know it's easy to get the tone wrong and we've been doing this for far too long. Some things are just amateur, on or off camera. That's why even when she's tripping, I never hit below the belt or say words to damage her. On or off camera, we be a classic picture, righteous and ratchet, a well-rounded mixture. At our age, we clear on what the value be. That's why even when she's tripping, I forgive her 
just as many times as I forgave dudes who didn't value me. She does. Let me say that part again. That's why even when she's tripping, I forgive her just as many times as I forgave dudes who didn't value me. She deserves my mercy too. So I give it freely. We be out here on our netty and seely. Nothing but death will keep us from it. I think you know, I, like I said, so back to the question, what are your thoughts on making new friends? Um, I'm, I definitely think that there is no age cap of when to make new friends. I don't like that. No new friends, no, no, no. No, I don't, mm -mm. I'm not here for that. Cause you're like, you could be blocking your blessings. Like, um, what are your tips on creating B-rolls and background music for content? So, this is fun. Um, for B-rolls, hmm, literally, I just captured anything like if i'm recording something i try to get it from different angles because in my brain i know when i edit i want it to look more i want it to look more cinematic and not stale if that makes sense like i feel like if you get you doing like if you're washing dishes i .e. sorry guys <laughs> if you're washing dishes i e like i'm pretty sure you guys have seen in my last vlogs where if i'm washing dishes i'll record myself washing dishes from like four or five different angles because it just makes the video more interesting like your editing makes it more like oh like okay like it's giving movies you know i have like five different cameras rolling like that's what i do or if i'm cooking i try to get it from like multiple different angles i think that it brings a, a little bit more excitement um to your um b-roll slash montages so with my b-rolls i like put music over it your question is how do you find like background music for your content a lot of times like when i'm talking like this and you hear low music in the background that music i typically get from epidemic sound uh, which you have to have a subscription for if you end up like not paying for your subscription or you cancel your subscription um there's a high 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 chance that your content will then get um demonetized because then you'll have like copyright strikes uh, or copywritten like notifications on your videos because epidemic sound really do be on that so once you are once you get music from epidemic sound you stuck with them for the rest of your content creation life okay <laughs> so they know how to make money so yeah, I use like Epidemic Sound, but when it comes to like my montages and stuff, I like to get my music from Epidemic, not Epidemic Sound, SoundCloud, or even YouTube. Like I'll look up like covers that I like and I'll just convert them into MP3s and use them in the videos and give the um, person who's doing the cover, you know, um, I'll link their information in the description box or I'll actually do a pop-up on the screen. Someone just said, a lot of this is about friendships, which is crazy. Someone said, finding good friends slash putting yourself out there, question <laughs> mark. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what you mean? Finding finding good friends, putting yourself out there. Maybe you want me to talk about finding good friends and just and putting yourself out there. Um, I don't know. I'm not afraid to make the first move when it comes to... Um, developing new friendships or or finding new friends like for instance me and baby we met on instagram and she followed me on instagram and dm'd me with a blue heart i thought that was so cute i'm like i don't know who is this girl like who is this girl <laughs> So I had like DM'd her back with the heart and then like we just started communications, you know, communication through that. And then maybe like within that first week, um, we ended up going to um, a local restaurant slash hookah spot to get like a late night dinner and some hookah. So yeah, we met on social media. <laughs> we connected on social media. Um, and then a lot of my friends actually be connected that way. Your question was finding good friends and putting yourself out there. I mean, every every meet and greet isn't gonna be a hit. But, you know what I'm saying? If you're in a space where, say for instance, you're in a new city and you wanna make new friends or whatever, you know, go out 
to restaurants or you know lounges you know during the day by yourself you're more likely to like meet new people when you go out by yourself too honestly um or you know social media social media is meant for us to be social it's not just meant for us to flaunt our lifestyles or keep in communication with the people that we already know slash the people that we already have in our phone book social media is also meant for us to meet people that you typically wouldn't meet you know in your everyday life you know you have access to the world via social media you can make friends in london you can make friends in japan you can make friends in canada you can make friends in jamaica you can make friends in panama like because of social media you know so why hold yourself back or limit yourself to the friend no shade but to the people that you've known your entire life and there's a whole world out here with endless of opportunities and endless of connections that could like be great to your mind body and soul not body but you know what i mean <laughs> all right unfortunately my camera died when i was doing my makeup but i didn't want to stop um we'll just finish up that q a and another video anyways moving on i got some really cute basic pieces this weekend it's not a lot it's probably like literally like five pieces that kind of gives me like naked wardrobe vibes um and i think these pieces are so cute i got them from like little boutiques around atlanta i think at like cumberland mall Actually, everything is from Cumberland Mall. <laughs> everything is from Cumberland Mall. Cumberland, Cumberland Mall? I think that's what it is, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try this stuff on for y'all, and then we're gonna style one of the pieces with the shoes that Simi has sent me, and we're gonna go out tonight because it's Nigerian Independence Day, and we're gonna be outside. We outside. So yeah, um, I'll be right back. I live in abundance. Love is the new money. Hate is the new death toll. My aura is special. Your aura is toxic. I got it, I got it. I'm out like my pops did. Still, I love my pops, kid. That's my frequency. Mama burn the sage. Let calls turn the page. My Bible of rage. Let go of the hatred. Let's dip out the matrix. Let's dip on the spaceship. This that new troop shit. Throw your hands up. We fresh with the water. He fresh with your daughter. Take care of the family. Know you understand me. Put your hands up. All beef isn't dead yet. But love's in my headset. Takes hit me to pieces. It. Joy's my secret. No point to beef it. Still got love for all y'all. Even if you did wrong, y'all. All it takes is one phone call. See I'm in my zone, y'all. Let your weed up. Get high, read a side up. Roulette with the chopper. So I'm thinking to wear this tonight, but I'm not sure because I did wear it two nights ago, but I feel like not enough people see me in it. <laughs> and um, yeah, like I like this outfit and I didn't get a picture. I need a picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm scared to wear it again because what if people see me outside the same day they see me outside the other day? I don't want to be that girl. I don't want to be that girl, but I need a picture. And not enough people saw me in this outfit. So, what would y'all do? What would y'all do? Ugh, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and um, straighten my hair. And then I'm gonna do the unboxing for Simi because I'm gonna wear Simi shoes with this. And then, yeah. We're gonna see if I'm gonna wear this outfit tonight. If so, then we're gonna put the outfit together, together and yeah but before i take my hair down because i feel like this is perfect for the next segment um i'm gonna go ahead and introduce blue glam to you guys they are a glasses company they sell prescription glasses and non-prescription glasses but i like the brand because of their variety of styles of glasses it's giving much very much either funky glam retro like anything you can think of you name it they got it. Like they have tons of different styles of glasses and they sent me five pair and I'm gonna do a quick trial haul for y'all as well before, you know what I'm saying, I take my hair down, straighten my hair and we get ready for tonight. Okay, these are the first pair of glasses. I haven't even opened these yet, so 
This is going to be new for me. This is like a real unboxing, like a real deal. This is a real deal unboxing. As you can tell, the plastic is still even on the glasses. I don't even like wear glasses. So, I mean, I am blind a little bit and I'm supposed to wear glasses. I've worn glasses like when I was little, like I have prescription glasses and stuff, but I don't wear them and my eyesight got even worse. The given. I don't know if my lashes are in the way. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. These are cute. I'm liking the white detail of these glasses. I think these are so cute. It's definitely giving what it needs to give. I think these are so cute. And these will look so cute. I feel like on someone else. Not me necessarily. Maybe it's my lashes that's in the way. But in a picture, hmm, that's cute. I think that's cute. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I've been doing it lately. Hmm. Oh, I wish. Oh, I wish I didn't have these lashes on now because I don't know what to get it. Hold on, this is so cute. I just love the the white detail. Like this is so cute. Oh yeah. These glasses is giving me giving me naughty girl. I like these. These are cute. Okay, I, I gotta figure out which ones are gonna be my favorite. These are so cute. I wish, my mom's calling me. Huh. Hello? What are you doing? I'm recording a video. Okay, I'm calling back last night. What's going back with? Did you ever leave back out? Uh-uh, I'll stay in the house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Blue Glam sent me glasses. They want me to do a trial haul. Now look, I sit down. What type of glasses? Just a bunch of like eyeglasses where you can you can put prescriptions in them if you want, but they come in like different oh. styles. You like these? Oh. Mm -hmm. Aww. Oh. Mama said she liked these. Oh. I was telling them that you said that you like these. Okay, moving on to the next one. Aww. Mm -hmm. I like the cat. This shape is so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. These are cute. Very much girly. <laughs> and the color is pretty. Mm -hmm. Orange and, was it teal? Green? Yeah. Orange mm -hmm. and teal. Very cute. Giving me summer spring vibes. Mm -hmm. oh. What'd you think? Oh yeah, I like those. Yeah, they're nice. They're like crossing like. Aww. If mama like them, I like them. Oh, this is a really cool detail. Like an infinity sign. Mm -hmm. I like these. These are cute. I'm gonna take a picture in these ones later. Yeah, that'll be cute. <laughs> oh, these are so cute. Okay. Let's see. This ring light is in the way. Do you wear glasses? Um, I need to get my prescription. I need to wear glasses because I can't see. Hmm. I like them. These are cute. Okay. Shout out to Ruby Glam for sponsoring this segment for my kindred. Um, I'm going to link everything down below in the description box. Don't forget to use my discount code at your checkout. And yeah, let me know which one is your favorite out of the five. Cute. I like these a lot actually. I'm gonna take a picture of probably both of those. Okay, so I decided to do just a quick little half up, half down situation. My friend told me to be ready by 10.30, 10.45. She, I call her, it's 11.17. I'm like, why she ain't call me yet? So I'm over here just recording content to pass by time. I'm like, why she ain't call me yet? This girl in the bed. 
no makeup on, hair looking crazy, nothing. Ain't need shower yet, no nothing. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, girl, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm getting up right now. It's 11.17. We was supposed to be out the door 30 minutes ago. So I don't even know, she's not even up here to tell me if I'm gonna wear this or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and style it anyway. This so what I came up with was, I'm just gonna throw on some big old gold hoops because my hair is pulled back. And I don't want to wear a necklace with a crew neck type of top. So I figure we can just do big earrings today. Like some big hoops. I'm trying to think, do I have any other big earrings I could wear? I'll check in a second, but I'm gonna go with the big hoops right now, the gold, because the shoes from Simi Oh, I didn't even show y'all the shoes from Simi. Oh my God. So I just did like a real sport or whatever. I'm gonna have to edit it while she get ready. But these are the shoes that they sent me. They are so cute. They're this um, gold flat um, three inch heels. Um, and it has like um, crystals here. And yeah, this is a shoe. I think that is so cute. I'm gonna link it down below in the description box. But um, yeah, this shoe is too goddamn cute so yeah that's what i'm wearing and that's why i'm going with gold accessories and then i'm gonna wear this um gold and white gold watch by um jbw because i think that is super cute and it's a vibe so yeah and then i'm going to wear y'all already know <laughs> this cute little white bag and yeah i think that's the fit i don't know I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this, but I think that this is cute. What y'all think? It's definitely, it's definitely giving grown sexy. The new bodysuit with the bag and the shoes is giving very much like classy and sexy. Oh, and a ring. I'm gonna go ahead and wear this really cute ring that I got a long time ago to bring in the silver. And then for my smell goods, hmm, this is my favorite combo and I'm almost out of my favorite combo. And my favorite combo, I'm almost out of it. Every time I wear this combination, everyone tells me, oh my God, you smell so good. And whenever I get in an Uber, they'll be like, oh my God, you smell so good. Male or female, oh my God, you smell so good. When I walk past somebody, they be like, Damn, you smell good. I'm mean, like, thank you, I know. My favorite combo is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I swear I talk about this all the time. Yeah, this is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. As y'all can tell, I'm literally almost out of this. And this is Ariana Grande's um, Cloud. The combination of, well, they both smell good on its own, I promise you, but the combination of these two will have people going crazy. Literally, the combination of these two will have people going crazy. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wrap this up for tonight. I'm gonna probably go downstairs so she can hurry up and get ready. Cause I'm not playing with her. I'm gonna go ahead and take me some pictures and finish my reels and go downstairs and have her put some pepper on her stuff. Because baby, be outside. I'm not trying to be outside all night. I wanna be outside till like maybe the latest 3.30, 4, the latest. Cause I wanna be back in the house and have a fresh start Sunday morning and um,